Hi everyone, welcome to the Movie Suction Show. My name is Fariba, and today we just got the first trailer for Gladiator 2. And I'm super, super excited because this is actually one of my most anticipated movies of this year. Uh, I've been following this movie very, very closely for about a, a year or so. And let's just say, I mean, the, the cast for this is absolutely spectacular. Paul Mescal, Pedro Pascal, um, Joseph Quinn, Denzel Washington. It's absolutely incredible um i i would imagine that this movie is going to be no short of being an epic incredible epic movie um i enjoyed the first one with russell crowe of course and i i know my dad um, himself is really excited to see this sequel he's been like asking me questions about it and now after for so long i can now send him this trailer so yeah i mean i'm not even going to delay this without further ado let's get right down into the trailer for gladiator 2 I remember that day. Mm, Maximus. Yep. 20 years ago. It. They changed a the kid. <laughs> to take revenge against an emperor. Okay. Where were you born? I don't know. I don't Denzel. Your mother nor father. You will be my instrument. Who are you? Okay, I didn't expect Denzel to have such a big role. Okay. Did you hear that crowd? The greatest temple <laughs> Rome ever built. The Colosseum. Because this oh is what God. they believe in. Power. <laughs> General Acasius, there are victories yet still to come. Rome has so many subjects, she must feed them. They can eat war. Oh my god. The arena turns slaves into gladiators, the gladiators into free men. You have something. You I knew it from the start. Did you now? Rage. And rage is your gift. together and when it charges break for the wall oh my god <laughs> could i give you that would satisfy this fury the entire roman armies too much the general will do Okay. Rome must fall. I need to only give it a push. Only make it out alive. All right, all right. Tears on the mausoleum floor. Blood stains the Colosseum floor. There you go. This ring belonged to Maximus. Now I give it to you. Hmm. This is the dream of Rome. For people are not free. I was owned. Now I will control an empire. I will not waste another generation of young men for their vanity. the trailer for gladiator 2 and yeah i mean i have a lot of things to say about it um first off can i just say how visually stunning it looks um that was the first thing that really popped in my head um because i was just like okay we have a lot of these roman battles that we are seeing that's that seems to be one of the few differences that i'm seeing from this from the previous film um how Denzel's character is very involved in that, how Paul Mescal's character is involved in that. That's probably going to set up the connection with uh, Pedro Pascal's character. I think, I can't remember if he's playing an emperor or if he's just playing a general. I would have to look into the character details, but um, but we get all those things. And I have to say, like seeing those those visuals of like the battles and then seeing the visuals of the, of the Colosseum, I mean, those were absolutely spectacular. I mean, if there's one thing that, really scott is known for is really the cinematography and 
just seeing some of the visuals here is just absolutely stunning. So I already know for one thing, this is going to be a very beautiful film to watch in terms of its epicness, um, showing the action, showing the violence. That's something that I look forward to seeing. I mean, I feel like that's what we also got with the first Gladiator movie um because we also had a battle in the beginning and then followed by that we had the whole interaction between the owner and the slave and then um uh, russell crowe's character maximus rising to the occasion as this this really powerful gladiator and then of course going to the end where he comes up against his biggest enemy and getting his vengeance so um we got that i will say i'm not gonna lie though Watching the trailer, it does seem as though there's a lot of elements that is repeating just what we saw in the first film. Um, so the venge, uh, the vengeance, the fact that um Paul Mescal's character is kind of like the slave to Denzel's character, which we kind of saw a little bit with Russell Crowe's character. Um, the fact that we do see the emperors, although they're not as uh they're not as significant as what we saw with uh Joseph uh Joaquin Phoenix's character with command uh what was it commandos or commander um so it's not that profound i mean it seems as though the, the real antagonist is going to be Petra Pascal's character so that's one thing for sure right there um and i think the one thing that will be a little bit different is just seeing this fa uh this mother son relationship because we know for a fact that you know the actor who played Lucia is coming back from what was it Lucilla or something like that? Lucilla from the original movie is coming back for this film, and we do see a little bit of interaction between the son and mother. So, uh, so yeah, I think right now my only thing is that it just does seem as though it is repeating a lot of the stuff, this a lot of the story elements from the original movie. Um, but it doesn't take away the fact that there are a couple differences that are you know you can easily spot like some of the Roman battles, seeing some of the different characters that we have. Um, and I will even say it, it seems as though that we're gonna see a little bit more of a complex villain here because we are seeing a lot of Petra Pascal scenes. Like at least watching this trailer. There's a lot of Petra Pascal scenes. So it does seem as though that we're going to see a little bit more of a background of his character. And I feel like they're going to at least kind of empathize who he is because we do see elements of those. But yeah, I think overall it looks epic. I mean, that's just the best way to describe it. It's epic. It looks incredible. Um, I think, again, my only concern is that it just does seem to be a copy and paste of the first film to this film. There's no denying that. Although I, I do hope that maybe it's just because of what we're seeing here. Because again, we don't get a whole lot other than the fact that we meet the characters, we see the characters, we get a little bit of, you know, what the plot device is. So vengeance, um, trying to tear down the Roman Empire. So that's an, that's at least one of the differences here that they're trying to break apart this empire. So, um, and we're seeing that conflict right there. That's what's causing this whole war. Um, the fact that the gladiators are so-called getting their freedom. So I guess that's a little bit of sprinkle of some new details right there. But, but yeah, um, I just hope that once we get closer to the film and, you know, when the movie does come out that, you know, it does stand on its own as its own sort of story and that it's not just copy and paste. I think, again, that's just my only concern as of this moment. But, but even with that, I think it looks stunning. The cast looks amazing. I cannot wait to see this film no matter what. I'm about to go send this trailer to my dad. But yeah, that's all I have to say about Gladiator 2 right here. What are your thoughts now having seen the first footage of this movie? This is one of the most highly anticipated movies. One movie that a lot of people have been looking forward to seeing from Ridley Scott. What are your thoughts having now seen the first trailer for it? Um, do you think that you're very satisfied with it? Are you very excited to see this now having seen the first footage? What are your thoughts having seen the first footage? Like, do you think that it does seem as though it is a copy paste of the first one? Is that something that you're concerned about? Or are you totally fine with that? What do you think about the visuals that we see here? What do you think about the story that we're seeing? What are your impressions about the characters and the actors that we're seeing here as well? Let me know your thoughts below and make sure to like and subscribe.